Hey guys, Dan Hood, Big DH2000 here. By now, you've probably seen the color changing slingshot. Um, let me explain how this all came about and how this happened. I was driving home from Tennessee, this Tennessee slingshot shoot with my son. Uh, he likes to stop at McDonald's on occasion, so we did. We picked up a Happy Meal with a toy. And while he was sleeping, I watched the toy change color depending on what location it was in the car, cool versus hot. And it suddenly hit me, I wonder if you could do the same thing with Aluminolite resin or resin that we put on slingshots. So I got home, looked up a YouTube video or two, realized that it could be done, and then went about finding said powder. Okay, now be, be careful. There's glow-in-the-dark powder, which I use from here. Let's see if we can get it to focus. Stuart Sample. He has several colors. I use my mica powders from Caster's Choice. Numerous colors. And then you can also get dyes from Alumalite, okay? Now you gotta be careful. Some are translucent, some are opaque, okay? That becomes very important when you start acquiring certain things. Now, yeah, okay, I'm gonna put that out there. Um, link will be below, but there it is if you want it thermochromatic pigments, okay? I bought a sampler pack. It's not exactly cheap, but let's look at some of the results you can get. Now, if you get one of theirs that simply has one color on it, like this one, that means it's colored below 88 degrees and clear above 88 degrees okay or vice versa you got to read closely sometimes it's um, clear below 88 degrees and colored above 88 degrees you just got to read and you got to check and you got to be careful and it, it just is what it is and you may what you may have to do you can see the dyes there Stick the dye in the refrigerator, see what color it is. If it goes clear or kind of translucent, then you know when it's cold, it's clear. Anyway, it's stuff you can put on mugs and cups and everything as well, so that's why it is what it is, okay? Now, there's also the ones that change color, for example, You'll see this one says green to yellow. So the first color is the color it is when it's below 88 degrees, so when it's cool, when it's sitting in your house, your air conditioned house or something. And the bottom color is the color it goes when it's, say, either outside or in your warm hand, okay? It's 88 degrees so that touch can slowly change the color. Now it doesn't change instantly like that. It takes it a little while. So while you're holding it and shooting, the thing will change color. Now, I tried a few things, okay? Because, you know, I got all kinds of options, okay? First one, what I did was I used the black, so it's black when it's cool, and it disappears when it's warm, okay? Then I used translucent orange, and I put a bit of pearlescent in, okay? I've got these stuck in warm water. This is what, just to keep them so that you can see them quick, the slabs being so thick take a while. This is what it looks like when it's cool. This is what it looks like when it's warm. And by the time you put it on your slingshot and shave it down to the right thickness and everything, just the warmth of your hand is enough to change it pretty quick. 
but when they're nice thick slabs like this and got depth to them in all directions, it takes a minute, okay? So there's what happens when you do that, okay? Now, I tried some mica powder, okay? Now, mica powder already has a color to it, okay? And then I used the black with it. Interestingly enough, here's the results, okay? As you can see, the mica powder still shows through in the color because it is colored, okay? And the mica powder will show because these resins are somewhat translucent, this powder, okay? But you notice all the black in the resin disappears. Has a really cool effect to it. But understand that when you combine these, say you were to use forest green, the green is going to kind of show through, okay? So it'll still be there in some way, shape, or form, but you can do this. You get basically a slab where the resin changes color, but the, the powder or the suspended solids do not. Okay? Well, now let's look at the one that I actually did. Okay? Took a little pearl, took the red to yellow, and that's all I put in this slab. Okay? Okay, the reddish, it's, it's a reddish pink. You know, red never really comes out super strong unless you put a ton in. And you can see the yellow. And this is what, as you can see, this is what I worked on. Sorry, just had to touch something. This is what I worked on and put on the slingshot that I made. Okay? Now, pearlescent again, because I just like something suspended. You don't have to put anything in, but I, it makes it a little opaque. And it's a silvery, silvery look to it, so it doesn't matter what color the resin is. I tried the violet with blue. And this is what I got, okay? As you can see, sky blue, purple. Purple when it's cool, blue when you're outside. Now, one thing I haven't tried yet, which I'm gonna experiment with, is Illuminlight has opaque dyes too, okay? I wanna see how that impacts it and how that changes it. I have a feeling that the opaque is just going to straight up override whatever I do. So I, I don't think it's going to make much difference. Might just be a waste of resin in the end. Then I was sent a special sample as a gift. Okay. I'll let you look at it. Okay. This says blue to violet. But there's a huge difference between this blue to violet and this violet to blue. This is heat activated, so it's thermochromatic. This is photochromatic. That means when it's in the sun, it changes color. When it's in the shade, it goes back. So it's kind of almost like a almost like glow in the dark in the daylight. You know, it just changes color depending on whether it's in the sun or whether it's in the, in the shade. So I haven't had a chance to check this yet. Um, I got all of these done and I was so excited that it worked so well. I just decided to make the video. But anyway, sorry this is a bit of a long video. But I hope, I hope you guys uh, enjoy this. I'm not sure if anybody's done this with slingshots before. I know I'm just having a blast messing with the resins. I'm sure somebody's done it in the knife community at some time, but I never found a knife maker that produced a video. The only videos I saw were people who made coasters, you know, put the warm mug on and the coaster changes color or put the stuff on the side of a mug. And then the, you know, as the color goes away, a saying shows up kind of thing. But anyway, once again, I can't say this enough. These guys got some awesome product, and I've, and I've already tried it, and if you've got a chance, go ahead and try it out. 
Yeah, they're basically, yeah, when sunlight is blocked, yeah. They're basically a, a home business, and they, I can't say enough about it. But anyway, hope you guys had some fun here. Let's show, this one to me was just like, wow, okay, that's such a huge change. Take care, guys.